follow Tripper. He knows the way. Show us the way, Tripper. Hear the plane? Yeah. Everyone calls that Joe's plane. Because it always flies around when I make a video. <laughs> okay, come check this out. I saw this the last time I was here. Man, that plane is just like flying circles or something. Go away. Go away, bro. <laughs> That's a woodpecker. Hear it? Yeah, I heard it that time. Trevor, Trevor. Trevor found his ball. Time. Anyways, I wanted to wait for the plane to go away, but it's not. Um, yeah, somebody sometime long ago built something here. It could have been for hunting, could have been a cabin. There's like a little canvasy blanket thing inside it. Who knows? Like I said, this is an old hunt camp. Huge parcel of land. It's been used for. What? Hi. Do you see uh, the fort? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well, go check it out. It's oh man, that wind. Hey, the sun went away too. What the heck? What do you think? You've brought me here before. Okay. But I do think it's good. Yeah, you don't have to humor me. Yeah. What? Uh, tripper happened to that. But, oh. but the ground's a lot more flat, hey? Than it used to be in here. There's somewhat of a roof. We can go up there if you want and check it out. Um, yeah. It looks different. What? It looks different. Yeah, it does. How you doing? Joe here, obviously with Mr. Tripper and the kiddo today. Uh, the plan for today is just uh, come hang out for a bit. I'm going to cut a lot of logs and get them either placed up or get them ready for the next time. But Yay. Emmy wanted to come out to the fort with me today and make a video, so that's what we're doing. So let's get started. I'm going to get my axe out, my saw out, and go find some wood. Are you, gonna fit? Are you too hot? Yeah. Okay, because it's really warm outside. <laughs> All right. Bye. It, se it seems like it might rain, Emmy. Hey. So what? At least we're out here. At least we're out here. That's a good attitude. Man. I brought Scout with me. What? I brought Scout with me. Oh, that's very nice of you, Emmy. So he's out with us at the fort. Yeah, I'm so I don't know where. Do you there? Maybe uh, just put him up on the bench. There you go. Mr. Scooter out with us too then, I guess, as a pup. It's snowing, Emmy. I've got a camera for you to use if you want. You want to use a camera? Okay. Use your own camera and just shoot whatever you want. Okay. I'll use some of it in the video. Okay. Okay. Sounds I brought a watch. You brought a watch. Wow, that's helpful. A Spider-Man watch. Oh, nice. Even better. We'll be able to tell what time it is and look cool. Got the old grandma's axe today. Crazy tripper. I'm filming my own video right now, so we gotta watch out for that camera. Thank you. It's on now. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be on and off, baby, the whole day. This is what I do. Damn, son! <laughs> Good job, baby. Yeah. Good job. Good 
<laughs> All right, so what we're doing right now, Emmy, is we're just cut down the tree because we need to use it for the fort. But we need to have it flat or flat enough for all these pokies aren't poking out everywhere, right? It's a little axe, you're right, but it's a good axe to do the small work with. Yep. Okay, so after asking you guys last week uh, what you think I should do, there's a lot of good uh, ideas. What I think I will do, because I don't really know what I want to do with the rest of it, I'm okay with making this, hey sweetie, into a lean-to on this side, at least for now. I kind of like the idea of coming in and out of that way as a doorway as well as this way, because I can access the woods and firewood and everything I need that way, but this way is kind of a jumbled mess anyways. So regardless of what I do on that side, I think this side I will make into a lean-to. I'm going to have to take this poplar down, which is okay. I don't need to do it today, but I do need to uh, measure some stuff so that I can get decent sized poles for this. I don't think I'm going to make what I have behind there where it stops and then there's a secondary wall to stop. I think I'm just going to go right to the ground here. If I do the secondary wall thing, it's a more of an angle and I'll have to find some very good waterproofing material and I don't want to put another tarp on. But if I just go right to the ground, it's a steeper pitch. I still get more angle, more, more, uh, go on. Oops. Nice throw, Daddy. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and they'll still get more room, people still get to lay their storage or whatever and I won't have such a, uh, a flat-ish. Oh man, you gotta stop. Go on. Okay. So let's measure this up and see see the pitch I need. Also, Daddy. What? I in your thing that you should make like a little trail from there leading to in here. A trail? Like leading from there into here. Yeah, well there's one start there's definitely one created over the couple years we've been here with that tree's in the way. But like we gotta we gotta fill that in where you are right there, I think. So luckily I have a lot of little cut off end pieces here that I can use for measuring that are light enough to put up there and I don't mind moving around so much. Bam, son! You can't, you can only do that so many times, okay? Yeah, I like doing it. <laughs> okay, good, I'm glad. Uh, to there would be ideal, right? That's not such a crazy steep pitch and then I'm getting an extra, like, on the ground, two and a half feet width-wise and be able to stand till here. You definitely put a bed or a cot or something down in here. Make another raised bed down in there. Well, I got a new sweet new knife from MP Knives, Matt Paul out of New York, New York State. I will show you guys that in a little bit. Me and Matt are old buddies from the Bushcraft USA days. It's a different type of knife than, than I'm used to. It has more of a, a belly. I don't know if I call it a recarve, but definitely a belly on it. Nice. He, he makes stunning, stunning work. All right. Let's actually, we'll chop through this with the knife. It's not meant for that, but it's called the Bushcrafter, so I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it is meant for that, actually. My camera's sad. My camera's sad? Why? Yeah, it's looking down. Aww. <laughs> What I, what I meant by not meant for that, I mean the smarter thing to do would be to cross baton it as opposed to chop at it, but whatever. So here's the knife. I have the specs on it, I'll throw them up on the screen here. But, uh oh, the glove is a little. What, what works, the knife? Yeah, what do you mean, you had, you had doubts? You doubted your dear old dad? It's a convex, full convex, true convex, which is my favorite, favorite grind of all. So far so good. This is only green balsam fir.
Okay. Measure, cut, and repeat about 500 times. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? I'm jumping. Whoa, girly. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Okay, we got a slew of logs now to work with. Let's take a look at them. So a lot of these are live, some are dead. Most of the live ones were broken off at the top, so fair game. Regardless, everything's fair game, but even though I have fair use of this land, everything's good to go. There's tons of trees and I want to do whatever I want. I still want to be conscious of what I'm taking down. If I can take something down that was in a stand where it has no chance of growing already, it's going to just compete for light and grow tall and thin and break off, or something that already has broken off, I'm going to take those over something that's flourishing. Regardless, none of that really matters. Let's start to um, fit these up for the wall. My hand is up there. You got a pander, pander up there. Pander, pander, pander. I mean, can you grab my soft one, please? You know what? Let's take down this poplar first off, uh, because that's going to be in the way of me making this this uh, lean-to proper, and potentially use this for support or something. But it's it's not straight. Thank you. It's not straight. It's all wampus, and it is poplar, so it's more of a soft kind of fall eat a party tree but we can use it for something whether it be benches whatever all right i do want to follow this in a specific spot we'll put this back that way because anywhere else actually straight that way too what way does it want to fall yeah i can make it just go straight that way that's what we'll do so in order to do that we're going to put the notch on this side right and then we're going to cut back on this side and push it over we'll use the axe instead of this for the notch Partly because it's funner and partly because this is a saw blade designed for dead wood and uh, it's going to get all gummed up in there. Alright, there's a nice spot to hit and I can always saw it down after that. Now poplar is a very quick growing tree, a lot of people refer to them as weeds. It needs to back off, Trevor. It's soft. It's got some uses. When it's older, the inner bark can be used for bird's nests. Used for making cordage, tinder bundles. Uh, animals eat it. Pretty clean notch. And she's soaked inside. Wow. So if I just saw it right about there, you gotta watch out, Triple. Here in the corner, you can barely see in the camera the notch. This is the this is the, the apex. So I'm just gonna go like maybe almost an inch, inch above it. Emmy, Emmy, I need you to go back, please, quite a bit. No, you can stay over there if you want to film, it's fine. Just go back, just in case this kicks up. And then kind of stand behind that little tree. You don't have to stand all the way. There you go, thank you. And then Tripper, go stand next to Emmy, buddy. Tripper, come! Go! Cool. Tripper, stay. Down, down. Good boy. Stay. <laughs> it's about to go down, Emmy. You ready? Mm-hmm. I was born already. You born already? I knew it. Careful, it's coming backwards. All right. What happened? It got hung up. Tripper down. Can you keep it like that for a minute? Push that tree. Push that tree. It's 
day. Okay, not so bad. Not very graceful. I hate my phone right now. Why? It shut off on me when it fell. Well, preaching to the choir on that one, kiddo. Yeah. right down now. This stump has got to go. go on this side of it. Oh wow, that, that's Ooh, Good job, girly. Even Autumn could have done that. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to have to get rid of that. No, that's okay for now. We'll probably work around that. Ah, excuse me. I don't want to have to cut that stump again with this saw blade. Okay, no. we'll see. We're going to start lining up the, the logs now for the lean to. I don't you want to see where I am? Okay, show me. Where are you? Right here. Okay, show me. Going around that way. And then you could just build out and make like a little opening there and stick your stuff inside. It's a good idea. A little garage, a little shed. Yeah. Yeah. So this really open with this gone, it really opens it up here. You know what I mean? You can see more of the uh, plan. So we'll start to get our logs up there. I have some thick logs, some thin. But the beauty of this is these logs are going to go underneath the roof logs, and it's going to create like an overhang. You know what I mean? Already, so that's even better. These tops of these logs will be covered from the water at least. Someone mentioned that the flat, oh, someone said in the comments, oh, flat roof, good luck, or something like that. I know, I understand. It's definitely not a flat roof. It's very close to it, but I'm not concerned. Um, I'm gonna put some thatching up there, bark, uh, whatever I, I get, and, um, and we'll see. I know it's not going to be waterproof. I get that completely, but it's going to be fine. And then in the in the winter time, for the snow, that might be the problem. Ow! Are you okay? Okay. We'll sit down and see if you have something in your boot. Well, it's gone now. Oh. Okay. Into my foot. Okay. Uh, the snow might be the issue, but oh well. If it falls, it falls. If you do, <laughs> if it falls, it falls. Um, and I can come over here and check on it and stuff like that. Thank you. I can pass you then. And if not, even better. So, it's all a work in progress. It always is, always has been. You guys know that. Everything with me is. Let go. Thank you, baby. Lift up the top, put it on the. Just watch your head. There you go. Look at her. It's too tall. No, you're good, man. Oh, That's I did perfect. It. You did it. Oh, there you go, girl. You doing, Trepper? <laughs> good boy. It just saw me on the side. Okay, let's instead of putting these thin ones for now, let's put a thicker one. Like this one? Um, yeah, that's a thick one for sure. Thank you. Grab the next one. You're gonna be all full of sap. That, that nice vest, that fluffy pink. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, there's pink in it. Opal, whatever you want to call it. What is the, what is the name of it? What um, color? It's white. Okay, white. <laughs> Even worse for the woods. Even worse. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, there's a rope up there. Yeet. There's a rope there's up a rope. there. 
You said I did good with the couple bottles. I know you did good. You did an awesome job. Okay, uh, one more. One more to go. <laughs> it's a little short. Two. Okay, so it's starting to get longer, I think. We got to cut them a little bit longer now, the pieces, because everything's not as straight up there, obviously. But look at that, man. You got some room? Yeah, test it out, model it out for us. There you go. Why don't you go sit down underneath it? Show me. Yeah, show us the room we get. Sitting. Okay, <laughs> all right. I don't want to put my That's fine, you don't have to. Okay. Don't have to. You're fine, you're good. Enough room though. Hey, Tripper, come here, bud. Hey, Dad. Can Get I? your toy, come. Can I show them? I'm just thinking about the end here, how it all looks good, but I'm gonna have to eventually do what I did on the, on the, on the fort and just tie up some pieces here uh, together straight up and down to make make an end wall which is fine but I'm also remembering that I have all these pieces Emmy come grab this out pull that straight up towards you this piece here pull 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 hard pull 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 Emmy pull thank you oh girly shouldn't have worn that uh, that scarf I don't think uh, Okay, you're ready to do the hat scarf. I got uh, all these cut off pieces that I can use that don't fit on anywhere else. They're not gonna fit on the roof. And they're not gonna fit um, on the sides. I got a ton of them, so we'll collect them all and see. Cause I imagine I'm, I'm done taking down trees for today. Me and Emmy are gonna make up some uh, hot chocolate. But there is some serious solid wood just kicking around here that I can make a decent sidewall with. Like just all right here, I probably don't have to collect any. And then the tops of them, like, these wispy tops that aren't gonna be uh, structurally sound for anything can start to go on the side as thatching or on the roof or not. I have a ton of them over there, so that's cool too. Lots of building materials. Oh, sorry, baby, you good? Yeah. At my ready. Mm -hmm. All right, you want a hot chocolate? Yeah. Same here. Well, Emmy and I are sitting here. Well, I'm sitting here. Emmy's behind the camera watching. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching you watch you. <laughs> watching, uh, I mean, waiting for our, our hot chocolate to cook up. And I just thought that I would play with this knife a little bit. And I'm supposed to give some feedback to Matt. He sent it to me to test it out. And uh, yeah, I have had it for a while and I haven't really used it because um, I have been out. So this is some dead balsam fir or spruce. It is, I don't know, I think spruce, white spruce. So I'm just cutting it off to get a clean end like that and then I'll do this maybe I'll do a different so there I cut it I, I, I truncated the wood say if you didn't have a, a saw right you, you're gonna use your, your knife for everything you're gonna use your full knife to make a full bow drill kit you don't have a saw to cut it into pieces say I wanted a spindle and I wanted a uh, hearth board I'm not gonna actually do that because you see me do it a hundred times and I can't even legally make a bow drill fire uh, anyway so but we'll use our knife to to maybe create some of the pieces so a good s a size selection is a little bit bigger than that so we'll start down here because we're going to lose some and now we can just carve in again like i did and go around and then flatten that off or you could do a cross baton so let's cross baton this this dead wood here and see how the edge holds up for them make a little x not just like an X angle, but an X, an angle in that way as well. Don't even need to do an X. This is gonna, we'll do it, but it was like 90% of the way through it. Okay. 
Okay, so we didn't lose any. We're still sitting pretty with much longer than we want when we than we need. And then you can clean the end up a little bit if you want. Is that still going, kiddo? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We're gonna split this in half. You can do it by batoning. Probably don't need to though. You could probably do one of these. Look at that. Perfect split. Thumbs up. A thumbs up. In all honesty, I'd want something a little bit more thick than this, thicker than this for a, a Beaujolais hearth board, but this would still work for sure. Square up the ends. Make a flat bottom. This is one of the times you do want a flat bottom. Ah! Flat autumn bottom. A flat autumn bottom, exactly. <laughs> I mean, knew where I was going with that. <laughs> and then you're gonna step on this part. So you want you want the ground to be, well, again, you wouldn't put it on the ground because the ground's wet, but put it there so it's pretty flat. Put your foot there. Put your divot here. Don't go too deep because it's not very thick. All good. After that, you can make your notch after you've uh, burnt in, which we're not going to do. What are you making? A notch for the dust to collect. I what? don't know what that is. It's okay. You've seen me do it when I mix fire with a stick before. Oh, so you're just making shavings? E kind of, yeah. For what? <laughs> I'm not making shavings, I'm making a notch in the in the wood. So there you go. Pretty easily done. A little few different hand grips you see me using. There's all very comfortable. There's a little bit of a guard ch slash choil thing. Not really choil. You can put your fingers up on there if you want to get more oomph for curls. That's what we'll do. We'll make some curls like Emmy's saying. And then this will be your spindle. And all I would do to make my spindle is just, again, round it out as much as possible which is nothing that this knife can't do and then I would make a tall long it's raining wood <laughs> hallelujah uh, frictionless point at the top to spin in the bearing block and then at the bottom you'd want a sharp I mean a dull rounded obviously uh, point to drill into your baseboard like this like that remember what I'm talking about now Amy no okay but for shavings that's all you would do I remember how you make shavings oh yeah mm -hmm. I'm just seeing how fine of shavings and how nice what this knife can do so earlier when I said the choil thing my hand is up past the handle a little bit but it's fine I'm just getting super good control with it up there and this being a full convex knife I'm, I'm actually doing not really act good. yeah it's doing really good I'm not surprised I'm pleased I'm pleased that how how it's working on me was that my camera oh no it was a yeah. something leaking something leaking something creaking anyway you could do the fast ones Better. Me too. It makes them more curly. Yep. Yeah, nothing wrong with this knife, man. Yeah. Back up. You're scaring me when you do that. Well, stay back then, girl. No, not for me, for you. Oh, don't worry about me. Your dad's good. Yeah, it's not like you cut yourself with an, with an axe before. <laughs> it's not, not at all. Okay. Hot chocolate time. Is this even enough for both of us? Yep. So it's because of this little belly. Bar. It's got a decent chop to it. It's not a hefty knife by any means. Boom! It's a thick enough spine, but he really, really gets it down with that convex down to super thin. Dad, you also could have put this. All right, bring it over here, Emmy. Right there. Could have done that, yes. But the, um, my backpack was hanging off that hook. Yeah. Is this even in frame? Not that it matters. You guys need to see me pour hot chocolate into a pot, right? Oh, boom, boom. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> it's so interesting, Dad. <laughs> see what I have to live with? 
Oh, think about mom. We make fun of her. <laughs> clock in the wall, clock, 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 clock in the wall. Yeah, we do. The side to the side, then the side, side, side. Yeah. What else? I don't know. Okay. Fat bridge. Oh. And I'm pool wolf. Pool wolf? Yeah. What am I? Dad wolf. Dad bridge? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. You're camp wolf. Camp Wolf. That's the coolest name I've ever heard in my life. No, it's not. Okay, fine. Joe Robnett. <laughs> Is it cooler? What a good girl. Here you go. I got those ones from here. That was a lot of work cleaning off the boughs, but I just noticed, if you look here, this one's broken off at the top too. Uh, where'd she go? That one. So let's take that down over here. This is right behind the fort, so it's nice and easy pickings. Easy picking strips. <laughs> What'd you say? Chicken strips. Easy chicken strips. I was trying to avoid that. It's not dead, I guess, yet. Okay, we got the last few here. Should probably be all for today, I imagine. We're gonna go look for some leeks. Me and Emily are gonna go find some leeks and dig them up and bring them home. What are leeks? Leeks are oniony, garlicky bulbs from the ground. Remember from last year? The green leaves? No. Okay, well, we're gonna find them and we're gonna pick them today so that will give you a good remember. I'll give you a good remember. Maybe when you eat me, maybe. Oh, that's pretty good for one day here. Have my helper helping me out, getting some sticks. All right, Emmy? Yeah, and you're also going to help me. And I'm going to be your helper soon here. Too short? No. It's getting there. We could, we'll mix. I took this one down to measure. We'll, we'll switch it with a different one, but it doesn't matter right now. All right. Well, Emerald is collecting some sticks for her fort. We're gonna deal with this poplar, so you can see how just how uh, tall it was. And I don't want to leave it laying on the ground. It is poplar, but I might be able to use it for something. And seeing as how my axe blade, sorry, my saw blade, like I've said a million times, is not meant for green wood. And I'd like to use my grandma's axe. Let's buck this, uh, this piece of poplar up and do maybe two or three sections. Long enough I can still use it, but uh, enough where we can get it up off the ground. What are you doing? See, when you're cutting something with an ax, you always want to go at least as wide as it is or wider, uh, the, the notch wider than it is uh, in diameter of the piece of wood. You can see here two or three hits and I got this big plate off and then when, as I chopped in again, I'm chopping right in the same spot I chopped before, if not like very, very close. Oops. 
there we go. Nice clean chopping, few chips, and plates more likely. Chop and cut. What? Chop and cut. Chop and cut. Okay, one more, here you go buddy. Found what baby? Oh, a pokey stick? Yeah. Nice. Do you want to see some sap bubbles? <laughs> so what you been doing over here girl? Popping sap bubbles. <laughs> Just popping sap bubbles? Here's here. a big one. Ooh, sappy. Oh, it's sapped all over you. Oh my goodness girl. Climbing? Yep. Go, wrap your legs around the tree. Go, Emmy. Are you, are you climbing up there? Um, there's no um there. Yeah, there it is. Go. Hi, people. I'm way up here. Okay, watch out. I'm coming up. All right, guys. That's it for us. Thanks for watching this video. Probably gonna be a short one. I say that all the time. Ends up being 40 minutes anyways, but we'll see. You guys have a good day. We had a fun day out here. Did you have fun? Yeah. You got uh, a little sappy. Yeah. But, uh, you know, what? I know little humans a lot. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. How are we getting it down? Yeah, man. Careful. What? How are you? Oh, wait, I know how. You're going to jump down and then you're going to catch me. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. Every time. Let's do it. Okay, get down. Alright. I'm going to get down on this cherry tree. Maybe this cherry tree will be our ladder. Yeah, that's why we left it up. That's a good idea. Cherry tree, ahoy! So bad? Yeah, I'm not so bad. Not too shabby. You jumping? One, two, one, two, three. All right.